guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be ranking all of the game passes in TVO from most powerful to horrible. Let's get started. Alright, the tiers we have is the top, obviously, overpowered, like they can dominate the entire lobby and they're great. They can easily get kills and, you know, just they're amazing. Next, we have powerful witches. They can kill people. They can't really. They might be able to take over the entire lobby, but you know, it's just like they're powerful. They're good. Like that's it. Next, we have middle witches. You're not good, but you're not bad. You're kind of just in the middle. Next, we have bad witches. Like yes, you can get kills, but very, very very unlikely you will because either their keybinds do nothing or their spells do nothing just like bad next we have 100% do not buy if I put a character in 100% do not buy you know exactly that that character is bad like that character has to be really bad for me to put on there can get kills can easily die yep Alright, let's start with Freya Michelson. Freya is a Michelson witch, which means that she was born, um, very long ago, and she's very powerful. Her spells in-game are good, like her barrier spell is good, her, um, her, um, immortality reversal is good. Like, all the spells she has, let me just pull it up here, like, all of her spells are, like, great. Like, her ancestral channeling is good, her barrier is great in certain situations. Her brain melt, I don't really think is the best, but incineration is, of course, always great. Um, her weather manipulation is great. Her sigil game is nice. And the only thing else that really catapults her is her pendant that can trap people and her mass neck snap. So I'm gonna put Freya in powerful but not overpowered because she can be killed. Like you can link to Delia but you can be easily killed by an original uh, just by healing and taking out your heart. Like you can die easily. Next we have Dahlia Michelson, which is another witch from the Michelson line. She is very powerful. She c spawns with a white oak stake. She has 2,000 magic and 450 health. Um, there's a couple things I'd like to point out. Her immortality is great, but I don't really think we need uh, the desic mass desiccation and the mind control. I don't really think it's necessary, but yes, she's very powerful. She can overrule some of the lobby, but her downside is when she's linked, she can easily die to an original or a basic vampire just by healing them and then killing her. It's not hard, but she does have limbo, so usually when I play Dahlia, if I get healed and I feel like I'm going to die or someone's attacking me, I just go into a limbo, and then by the time you're out of limbo, the the bloods out of your system. So and her woolwolf her werewolf scratches are great. I'm gonna put Dahlia in powerful but more powerful than Freya because she can kill an original but she can't other stuff, you know? Next we have Hope Andrea Michelson, aka the Triabrid. She is one of her own kind and she is very powerful. Uh, the thing I would like to point out is she has her summoning spell and her scream that kind of make her stand out. But I know that nowadays, um, Dark Josie also has a summoning spell, but she can be nice, great with Expulso. Well, not, no, not Expulso, um, Vados. Yeah, so she's a pretty good witch. Uh, I don't think she's worth her price, though, because 1,900 Robux is quite a lot for someone that can kill people, but not much. Like, I've I've been a hope, and I've 
overrule the entire lobby, but not to the point that I'm powerful. Like, Freya can easily kill you, Dahlia can kill you, Cade can kill you, um, all the heretics can kill you. Like, it's so easy to die as an original. So I think that's the thing that makes her downsided. But I am going to put her at powerful. We'll see if she stays there. But that's a good spot for her right now. Next we have Ketsia. Ketsia is a powerful witch from the Bennett line. She has 2,000 magic and 400 health. She costs 1,500 Robux. Um... Heart stopping keybind, well not keybind spell, is great. Um, her stone spell is great. Her pendant channeling and her pendant healing are great. But I don't like the fact that you channel magic with your pendant, and then when you're healing yourself after you channel, you're just using more magic. So it's kind of a dead point as long. It's just a dead point. Ne she has her blood boiling, which Harvest Divina also has. But her blood boiling is way, way, way more powerful than Divina or Harvest Divina's. Um, also, we have Memory Overload, obviously so annoying. And, of course, the thing that everybody wants as Ketsia is her Immortality Cure Creation. So, you just create the cure, and then... Yeah, you can kill originals. Like, she's powerful. She's probably more powerful than, like, um, Dahlia or someone. But she is, um, she's great. Um, the only downside to her is that she can be easily killed. Like, I can kill her, like, very easily. She only has one life, and that one life does not last long. I think if a dev was watching this video, I would say add a second life every sing no add another life every single time you revive someone so when she uses her custom rev revive spell which she doesn't have but she will probably get one sh you get an extra life that's kind of how Cade kind of works Cade can is immortal but if he dies within 30 seconds after coming back he dies that's the thing that makes Cade horrible so I'm gonna put Ketsia in the middle between Dahlia and Freya, because that's where I think she belongs. Next, we have Dark Josie. Dark Josie is very powerful. Off, off, obviously, she has a Tem, and she has the Japanese Black Persian spell. Um, her sleep induction and stone manipulation make her one of the best game passes. But her downside is even when, as a heretic, she can easily die to Hope, any original, Valerie, Anadu, anybody. Even Sybil, I think, can kill her. It's just so weird and annoying. Also, her Lukigo Maxima is also great. But the thing that makes her one of the best game passes is her Mass Siphon, which can siphon the ground and regenerate every single ounce of magic. Which is nice. So if I had 10,000 magic availability, I could just use that and I would be at full. That's why most people want to channel her because she's one of the best. I'm going to put her um, right behind Hope. Not more powerful than Hope, but just there. Next we have Sybil, which is the only game pass I did not showcase because I don't have her. She comes with 1,400 magic and 400 health. Her abilities are Mind Shutting, Throat Rip, which is obviously stupid. She has Neck Snap, Mass Mind Control, which Dahlia also has. She has Dragging, Drowning, Sleep and Dutchman. The thing that makes her great is she has an instant kill. It can't kill a game pass. It could, but it can't. It could kill Bonnie. It could kill like any character that's not immortal. But it's it's the clash is so annoying. The thing is with Sybil is you can't push her away when you're doing the clash. Unlike the originals, you can't push her away. That's the thing that makes her great. She's only 800 Robux, and I think she should be at least 1,200 because all of her abilities. I put her powerful, but not more powerful than Freya. Yeah, yeah. Middle, you know, yeah, I'll put a middle because, um... She's middle, but she's also not great, but she's good. 
Next, we have Expression Bonnie, another Bennett from the Bennett line. Her abilities are bone breaking, psychic scream, self healing, which obviously propels her. She has a self resurrection, she can do it once. Um, she can protect herself by holding the keybind, wound infliction, masked pain infliction, sorti melan velas. She also has this thing that can kill a god, the keybind. You need. 3,000 magic and you clash and you can kill a god while killing yourself. It is kind of stupid because the like if you try and kill Ken, Ken will just probably steal you because you died the same time. So it's kind of like trading like, oh I'm Bonnie, I want Ken and then Ken bees you. So it's kind of like a trade-ish. But you can also die. So if you don't win the clash, you still die. That's the downside, and someone can also still steal you. I think she's, like, her abilities are good, but they're not, like, great. Like, she can go, like, powerful, but, like, yeah, more powerful than Freya, but not more powerful than Ketsia, because Ketsia can kill anyone. Alright. Moving on, next we have Anadu Labanere, aka The Hollow, one of the most powerful witches in TVO. She spawns with 2,800 magic and 500 health. Her abilities are visions. One of the new things that was added recently is every couple minutes or so, depending on the game, like the server you're in, she'll have visions. So, like, you'll, like, it'll cut to you seeing something, and then, it'll, like, you know? Like, it will show you where someone is. Like, the closest person to you, it will, like, for five seconds, show you where it is. That's kind of cool, but also kind of lame, because I can just use a locator spell and last for, like, ten minutes. Also, Australis Lux can also do that. So, there's no point. I say take that out. Next, we have her immortality. All you gotta do is you gotta place that bone, and then she's immortal. Like, it's not that hard. Uh, the only downside is that once you have 6,000 magic, yes, 6,000 magic, they buffed it from 2,500 to 6,000, which is ridiculous. So now she can be slightly more better so you need 6,000 magic to disable her immortality and yeah she's very powerful she can kill originals with her uh, phasmotus form sanguinous and mortem she can uh, turn a anybody into a wolf as long as they're not immortal so I can turn Ketsia into a wolf and the only person that can turn her back into a witch is Ken and Jen. Only gods can do that. You have to heal the werewolf too, so they can be a witch or whatever they were before. We also have the trip keybind and the mass bone break. Also the original killing, which I already said. Uh, possession is also nice. And she also can turn into a orb and fly, which is nice. I think she's one of the only characters that can do that and then she also can heart crush so a built-in keybind and then she also has her um her self healing so she in my in my um mind is one of the best game passes and i know i've said that a lot but i think she's more powerful than hope because she can kill hope and she's probably going to stay there because she's honestly one of the most powerful game passes. Next we have Marion Nora, aka the Heretic Bundle. Um, these uh, little people are there are 1,200 um, Robux and they come with 1,500 magic and 500 health. Um, they come with a Confuso Fatina Ignus, which is mass fire. They have dragging, they have Impulsa, they have attack, they can also kill originals, which kind of helps, because they're kind of weak, not gonna lie. Um, they can also turn other people invisible, so I can turn Klaus invisible if I wanted to, 
not like it would be like why would I do that? Uh, um yeah, so the bundle comes with Marianora, which I think is nice because six hundred Robux for a character that's like the cheapest thing you can get. Like this other than Civil or Gen, this is probably the best game pass you could get. Um, so if you're just starting, I say buy this. I'm gonna put it, they're, they can kill originals, but they're not that powerful. I'll put them behind Freya. Actually, no, in front of Sybil. Because they're not really that good. Next, we of course have the Always and Forever bundle. A.K.A. the three originals. Well, there's five of them, but at least you get three. Um, they are immortal. They have Mass Punch, they have Heart Rip, they have Head Decapitation, yes. If I were to go to Davina, not Harvest Davina, Davina, and ripped out her heart, she wouldn't be able to go to the other side. That is so powerful. And the Heart Rip and the cooldown for the, all the things are so low, it's not even funny. They can overthrow an entire lobby. As long as you don't go in, if you don't mess with a heretic, or a Nadu, or Dahlia, or a cat, or Bonnie, because Bonnie can also kill originals. You know, now I'm thinking, the originals aren't that powerful because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Yeah, there's eight characters that can end them. So it's not really, they're not, they can overthrow, but they're not that good. So I'll put them in front of Sybil. No, I'll put, no, because they can, no. I'll put them in front of Sybil, but not more powerful than Mirianora. Next we have Valerie Toll, a.k.a. the powerful, um, the powerful, um, heretic. Um, so she comes with Confusa, everything that comes with Marianora, except she has three exclusive spells. She has Phasmotos Exenero Lapino, which can make you in like immune to all spells for thirty seconds. And she also has um Dispalso, which is nice, and then she also has um I can't forget uh another spell. I don't know what it is, but it, you can check. She does have another spell, so she is the better heretic, but I think Marianor are better because I don't think it's worth a thousand Robux for one character other than thing. like this character right here. She's not that good. Like she She's good, but she's not bad. Like, she's like, I could put her in bad, but that would be mean. So I'm gonna put her like she is more powerful than the heretics, but she's not that powerful. So I'll put Valerie in front of Marianora. Next we have Cade. Now, some people might be mad. But I think Cade is an actu actually a good game pass. Like, some, like, Hot Cheese and like, JJ, like, all those other YouTubers that do the same as me, they all think that Cade is bad. Trust me. Try him. Try him for like two hours and you'll see. He's great. His buffs that he recently got in the winter update make him very good. I wouldn't say one of the best because I've said all of one of the best for a lot of them. But he is good. He's very good. Like it's not even funny how good he is. He's just good. Um, he can kill. He can kill everybody with a vampire side. He can't kill anybody immortal, but he can kill everybody. He can kill Bonnie, he can kill Cat, he can't kill, he can kill Valerie, like, everybody on this list, except for Sybil, um, Dahlia, Hope, and Anadu, he can kill all of them. He can't kill a god, but he can kill every single person except immortal people. It's just, he's overpowered. Should I actually, overpowered? He's not more powerful than Dark Josie, but he's powerful. You know, I'm going to put him overpowered. I would say he's middle, but now that he got all these great updates in the new update, then he's going to go overpowered because he can kill anybody now. 
Next we have Ken, which is the mo oh, he's three thousand Robux. He um he can kill anybody, just like Cade. He can kill anybody not immortal. He can kill he can kill originals. Y it, you can Ash, you can instant kill any original as long as they're under two hundred and fifty health. He can even kill Hope and anybody. Everybody on this list, except for Dahlia, he can kill. Not even joking. He is amazing. So, he is obviously overpowered. He's more powerful than, um... Because he has the wind manipulation. He doesn't have any spells, but he has wind manipulation. He has all those great spells. He has an instant kill. He has all those... Great spells. So he's not more powerful than Cade. No, he's more powerful than Cade, Dark Josie. I would say he's more powerful than Hope because Hope is kind of bad nowadays. And then he's not more powerful than a Nadu because he can be killed by Jen. Uh, so I'll put him here. Like he's not bad, but he's not good. Like he he's overpowered, but he's not like he's great. He's great. Next we have Jen, which is the other god. The only good thing about her is that she can kill Ken. Jen is really bad, guys. And sorry, she's just really bad. She can't. She doesn't have an instant kill. She can only kill basic witches. She can't kill any vampires. She can only kill basic witches. She doesn't have any fire. She doesn't have um, an instant kill. So she can't kill any vampire she can only kill witches that yeah she, she can only kill witches the only th she can kill witches and can that's about it i would put her in bad because she's not good but she's not bad okay no she is bad because she can't instant kill so she's bad the only thing she's good for is ken so if you if you have Ken, and Ken is taken, like, say I want to be Ken, but Ken's taken, I can be Jen, kill Ken, and steal him. That's the only reason why someone might buy Jen, because she, she can kill, uh, kill Cade. Not Cade, I mean Ken. So that's, yeah, she's not good at all. I would put her in 100% do not buy, because that's just honest. But you might want to buy her if you want Ken. So I say bad she's really bad next we have harvest divina i said this a lot but she's one of the best game passes she can kill originals she can no she can't kill original she can kill original not originals she can't kill originals she can't kill anybody immortal but she can kill anybody she can kill bonnie she can kill cat she can't kill dahlia when she's linked but she can kill anybody except for immortal people her um, ancestral overpower spell is overpowered. Her blood kill spell can kill anyone. Um, yeah, she's very powerful. She, for 950 Robux, I think she should at least be 1,500 because she is too overpowered to be 950 Robux. Like, when she came out and I saw the trailer for her and she was 950 Robux, I was like, Why? Like, she's so powered. Like, why is she that low? But I, I'm glad that she did, that they did make her that, because I bought her. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, I think in the next update, or whenever the developers can, I think you should up the price from 950 to at least 1,200, because she is more powerful than Freya. Kind of. Because she, yeah. She more powerful than Bonnie? Not really. But she's like there. Yeah. So what I'm saying, so now that we're done the tier list, I want you to look through this and I want you to tell me who not to buy. Do not buy Jen. And do not buy Sybil, because Sybil is good, but also bad. 
Um, she's only 800 Robux though, so I don't know. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this tier list. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. See you guys on the next video I post. Since now I'm done with TVO for some time, because I've uploaded so many t TVO videos, I'm going to take a break from TVO for a little bit, and I'm going to move on to Marvel New Journey or uh, Heroes Online World because I've made so many. I just need a break. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.